Hi everyone! So in a previous video you saw me set up the files for an astronaut pendant and now I'm going to be laser cutting it. I have three layers it's going to do. I have a dark raster engrave layer, I have a light engraving layer, and I have a cutting layer. So I've already set up those uh, settings uh, using my test swatch. Uh, I also have my 16th inch birch plywood already in here and I did the z-depth with my depth puck. So just to show that to you real quick. There's a screw on this side to loosen the head and this just makes sure that it is focusing on the surface of the material. So this is good to go. I'm just going to double check where this is going to laser cut on my piece of wood by running the perimeter. So you can see the little red dot running around my file and then I can see it here on my piece of wood. And notice how close I'm able to get that file to the previous um, to the previous cut, and that enables me to not waste any material. I'm actually even gonna scoot this just a little bit closer. So I waste as little material as possible. Awesome, so that looks good. So now I'm ready to start my file. When I hit start, I have the option of changing the order of the files. I always raster my darkest file first, and then I go to light, and then I always end with the cut file. That way if it cuts and shifts at all, um, it's not going to mess up your engraving. So now this is ready to send to the cutter. Awesome. So, on my cutter, here's all the safety features. I've adjusted my laser head, I've got a good material, I'm going to stay on my laser cutter, and then we're ready to go. While I'm cutting, I can see the remaining time left, so I have, this file takes just a little over 8 minutes to run. You can also see that the workspace that I named, my astronaut pendant, shows up here on the laser cutter. That makes it really easy if I want to repeat this file later, I can just select it from my list of previously done files. I can also pause and stop at any point in time and restart, uh, so that's really nice. Here you can see the laser tube running as it is engraving my little astronaut pendant. So I'm not gonna lie, I'm still getting used to this workflow and I accidentally saved out too many uh, layers for my uh, lighter raster. So I'm re-rastering this one I tried to line up the cut so, so the first one will cut, but we'll see if that works or not. So here is attempt number two at the astronaut pendant, and we'll see how this one goes. This experience has proved that even with practice, setting up the files can be a little difficult to save out all the right layers. So I did end up having to cut two versions, but they turned out pretty well. This is my actual ideal one with the black edge around and the secondary rastering. That looks great. I'm really happy with that. I'm probably going to sand it to get a little bit of the, the scorch off. And then here's my backup that was a little mixed up for the file, but it still looks pretty good. It just doesn't have the secondary rastering. So, I think that's a pretty successful test. I'm happier with that rastering and I'm probably going to move forward with the two-layer engraving on the astronaut pendant. Thanks for watching.